another set today. This is not the only one. We've got Rob versus Catnip coming up next. If you told me this at the beginning of the season, I would have been excited. If you tell me it now, I'm still excited. Uh, this is two of the bigger, bigger heavy hitters. What's the point? <laughs> that lead in. If you told me this is the beginning of the season, oh, whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to defy expectations. It's, it's kind of my gig. Uh, you got picks and bands there, Corvus? Yeah, let's get right into it. So let's get the picks and bands up. As we mentioned, this is an Iron Division match between Rob and Catnip. We have bands on Balcony and Redwoods. We have restrictions on Terrace, and then Catnip declining to restrict. And the picks will be doubled Aquarium and doubled Courtyard, followed by singled Gallery and singled Modern. Interesting. We got another Modern to finish us off in this set, assuming we get there. Then uh, we got Balcony Redwoods band. Boo. <laughs> Don't want to play the small venues, uh, do these two. I mean, Redwoods not particularly small, but it, it kind of falls into the same category sometimes. Yeah, and let's, uh, let's quickly go through Iron Standings, because I think it's incredibly important to talk about. We got Rob here as the favorite into this match, just because they're undefeated. And this is one of their hardest matches that they have here at the tail end of the season. Um, obviously, they want to go in first for like playoff reasons, but also just keeping that dis uh, season with no losses would be fantastic. Uh, if it wasn't Rob as your preseason favorite, it was usually Catnip. Uh, Catnip is sitting around like fifth, which is still in range for the tournament of position. Uh, getting points here, be it a win or a tie, would be big for their season and big yeah. for their pride. Uh, yeah, I think Catnip get, definitely wants points. to. Uh, against the the undefeated player is always good, right? You, it, it just on on scoreboard and on pride, right? Yeah, it it's... doesn't help tiebreakers, but otherwise, uh, fantastic. Uh, but I think this is also just, yeah, I think it's a big match where Catnip just wants to prove herself. It's not been, like, the cleanest season. She's had good wins and bad losses, and this would be a nice place to, to get. Even a, even a draw would and bloody Rav would be more than most people can say this season. So let's uh, do it. I'm looking at Aquarium. We got Sharks. Do we do indeed? Okay. Uh... Uh -huh. Yeah, Rob on Rocker, and what is a nice little, like, triangle of ladies just chilling back here in three, two, one, playing it. Gossiping with the queen. <laughs> it's, called, it's called tea time, uh, OP. It's tea time. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like the idea that they can just have a conversation circle back there, just like right in front of the statue. And, conversation circle. Or Seek is just trying to get to the statue to go swap it, and just there's these ladies just standing right in front of it, and you're like, if you weren't literally the queen, I would push you out of the way. Uh, we've got 51% into leave, into trying to get the bug here. It could be a quick game. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That, that was... Uh does not care for that particular attempt, and it didn't even stick. That's 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 the the nasty thing is when you try and get in this case actually two bugs and they don't stick. It's like, okay, I guess you can shoot me, but yeah, that was that was very quick. Um, so something about like like Catnip definitely came into the season. A lot of people expected her to be pretty much at the top of iron, a uh, longtime veteran of the game, but did not. You know, you know, didn't quite do amazingly in placements, but as we've seen, a lot of players in Iron really rising up this season, taking it to Catnip, and maybe Rob can do the same, but not starting off like that, no. Yeah, I mean, he got the, he got the flirt. Uh, we'll give him that. <laughs> we got Catnip here playing some Tex, some Cowboy, some Carlos, whatever you want to call the man in the, in the purple. I was going to say purple hat, but the hat's not actually purple. It's like the only thing that isn't purple. Not purple trim. <laughs> Yeah, sure. And three, two, one, plan it. What's the plan, Catnip? Immediate purloin? I'm down for immediate purloin. I love Cowboy's uh, drink take animation. It is yeah, the immediate purloin and it's the immediate <laughs> take. It's not even the delegate. Not even the oh delegate. Oh my god. Okay, so with the immediate purloin, usually there's like some delay even even if this the sniper catches it and you get shot for it usually there's some delay on the sniper going wait hold on they just took the list but rob sees the list and like just seems to be like ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Which is never what you want to be doing when it's literally the only you could do be doing a hard tell. Okay, if, it's, if it's just you. If, uh, <laughs> if, if we get 10 more games like this, or I guess if someone just runs away with it, uh, you got plans for the extra half an hour time that we're going to save? <laughs> Maybe like you know, go out for lunch instead of eat inside? Like you got, you got things you can do. Uh, going out for lunch in, 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 know, in, like... in this state of the world? <laughs> yeah. All right. You can, uh, you can DoorDash, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll get some takeout, yeah. We should get sponsors. <laughs> can we get DoorDash as a sponsor? <laughs> DoorDash. Uh, <laughs> DoorDash, please. Please, please. Uh, we got Alice here. Nice and quick. Uh, matches the mood right now. And we'll get started here in three, two, one. Playing it. I gotta go look at this. By party chat, you can talk to uh, the actual game. I can t oh, 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 we're, we're, we're doing it. We're pulling a Gabriel and doing a really early green flirt. Uh, is it a Gabriel? I'm only calling, I'm, 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 I'm only calling it a Gabriel for this one cast. That, that's all, that's all he gets because a lot of people get early green flirts, but on this cast, it's been Gabriel. Uh, Rav now sitting in a conversation with the double agent, not really doing much. Lots of uh, people out at bar. Bar is picking up the highlights, whereas there are a couple people out of statues, some bookcase uh, visitors. So, luckily, I think we're not we're not trying to do a purloin, uh, because if you're doing a purloin when they're highlighting for bar, even in a bar rush scenario, it can kind of hurt. Although the fact that aquarium is four of eight does help that a lot, uh, regarding the um, the ability of the sniper to narrow down the party and then be able to shoot you later on. You'd still need one more mission though. Uh, other than the banana ring. bread, and this is probably going to set up a potential walking bug if we want it. It looks like the opportunity doesn't really arise, uh, but good timing there from Rob to do it while the ambassador is nearby, giving themselves the opportunity for some really cheeky plays. Uh, uh, we do need to move forward in this game, and I don't think it's going to be at that uh, statue next to the seduction target. Maybe we can get a bit of luck and they come to us? Yeah, uh, 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 Nostradamus over here with Pwn Noob. Ah, uh, yeah, Rob, uh, Rob agrees. <laughs> Rob, Rob, Rob nodding at the seduction target with their spy camera. Very, very happy to see that. Um, so, uh, something to note about Rob's play on Aquarium is that they have previously pulled off uh, the Aquarium Shark Cheese that you usually only see at like high level in Platinum and Diamond so far. Uh, they did it against Lev Trotsky in their match. Um, Lev also attempted it, but Rob was able to make the shot uh, partially because of, I think it just Rob, I mean, uh, Lev not quite being in range of the shark and Rob able to get that shot off. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not an easy timing. You can't really... It, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's not... <laughs> yeah, it, it's harder to do sometimes. We it might should seem. not be at this bookcase right now. Um, I think there's probably a fingerprint here, which is the reason that we're here, but... Why are we a highlight? Uh, I didn't... I, I noticed this now, but we're a highlight. I don't know what for. I don't remember. I, highlights are whimsical for me, OP. You're, you know better than I do. I, I, people get highlit. That's just a thing. People get low lit too. That's also just a thing. Uh, we are in a spot. Uh, it's going to be the delegate we here. Went to bar. Into... We went to bar. Okay. That, that oh, makes yeah. sense. It's consistent with what, what we were doing earlier. I would have no. liked to bug there. Can eh. that, but I would have liked to bug there. Eh. I think it's odds. Um, I think it's better odds than whatever we're playing to in this stupid book. <laughs> The delegate comes off. The laser is kind of drifting over, perhaps to us. That but... was like 57 seconds after we took that. That was about maximum time. Well timed by Rob. Yeah, very nice timing. So when we get to the list, so now we've got a party of about five people here. Catnip will have narrowed it down. Doesn't react with the laser, which is uh, kind of nice here. Not yeah, letting the spy have that information. Oh, oh no, but the shot comes out yeah, from Is this a catnip shot? Are we just doing um, catnip shots now? Or is this let me for... See. Like, what happened here? Uh, was the he goes in the conversation, the, the talks, never and immediately gets... leaves. Yeah, I get it. I don't know wh why that would be his last mission. Like, I don't think anybody's crazy enough to do that. But I get it. He, he goes into conversation, talks, immediately gets interrupted, and immediately leaves. And he's small man. Uh... So, shot necessary—not necessarily a great shot, but it's justified in some sense. Yeah, 
There is there is some justification there for sure. And um Catnip is known for making these kind of shots. Did he get did, did, did he actually ever talk there? It didn't I thought sound he did. to me. I'm, I'm no, he just sipped. He just stayed there for one cycle, sipped and left. Didn't even talk. Oh gross. Yeah, so Catnip Catnip is known for these kind of like very intuition like shots. Uh and it can save her from scenarios where it seems like all is lost, but uh, these kind of things can bite catnip. And now, back to playing normal games after, after those first two. It feels like it's just 1-0 Rav, but it's oh, actually 2-1 Rav. Chat that this was a gulp shot, which is, like, <laughs> good on ya. Like, I like the attempt. Gulp shots are, like, the most legit way to play Spy Party. And when I say legit, I mean, not, like, great way to play Spy Party, but makes me proud, and that's, that's all I care for. Um... It's things that make me proud. I don't even make me proud. So we got Catnip on wheels here in Aquarium, and we're going to do it in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Wheels, wheels is... But, but, but. A bit. We have a drunken hand, but we're I'm hiding drunk. the drink inside of the Ambassador. It's not giving us any sort of alibi until the drink is actually seen. Yeah, now the Ambassador should it. leave it in uh, Catnip's probably going to roll out for Flirt here after maybe another animation. Uh, just need to get some sort of start to this game, or we're just gonna break animation and then and then leave. That's fine too. Or we're just gonna chill. We have lots of options, and this is the slowest one. <laughs> so, on Aquarium in particular, Wheels is just Smallman. It's just budget Smallman. Yeah, dis Wait. discount. Uh, Walgreen Smallman. In the end of red. <laughs> can hide very easily behind the shark. This is an interesting contact. It is actually a fake for us. Um, in, a, in a conversation this big, there's a lot of worry about this con th this contact being secretly real and we don't know it. But it is actually fake. It doesn't seem like uh, Rob really... Oh, oh, hello. That was a safety off really quick there from there, uh, there from Rob. Someone's got his attention. You uh, also didn't catch necessarily the twitch from Catnet. Acknowledging that the 49% not enough if we're gonna do a timer flirt here, so she moves closer uh, to get the 51% with just a small little twitch. Uh, you could do something like real cheek, you like try and walk towards the briefcase and walk back to get closer, um, but twitch is often just resolve the issue, except when the seduction target leaves and you don't get to have your timer flirt. Man, that, that master was just behind the, sh the middle shark in the middle conversation. You ne you hate to see it. As the wait, we were just walking behind Shark there. We and didn't take a bug. Hmm. I feel like Catnip could have taken an opportunity for that bug there. It would have been a dive in. Like we still would have had to come out into the Shark uh, realm. This is just us doing a microfilm. It's more or less behind Shark. It was already green. We Wheels has one of the better microfilms, anyways. It's kind of all the best worlds. The timing with that was pretty interesting. Uh, Poffy is well known for popularizing a strategy where as wheels, you t you time it so when you go to that bookshelf, you can walk with the shark all the way to the other bookshelf and then leave before you're ever even really seen taking out that book. It is kind of like a teleport across the, v the venue strategy. So if, uh, an, an astute sniper will be able to catch it, but you know, being behind shark for that long is and always powerful. Okay, we got a lot of half missions here. Uh, we still need to get another flirt. Uh, the sirloin pending. Uh, we have half a microfilm. The bug here is pretty powerful. Uh, Rob can definitely be suspicious, but it's gonna be hard to pin Catnip down for that one. Yeah, the bug, it was on screen, but it's so unexpected in a sense, because one, it's wheels. Who, who does a reverse drive-by on wheels like that? And the ambassador stuck around to give us a little bit more cover on the arm going in. So getting that bug could be really huge, but we are running low on time. Our, our seduction target's at bar. Time's not, time not the issue. Getting shot's the issue. We have three missions. We can meet back up at the bar if we have oh. to. Oh, we have a purline uh, we're going. Yeah, we purline, right. Uh So the problem is there just wasn't much bar action this game. Uh, it's more or less us and Salmon, and if uh, Rob's really on it, and I trust Rob to be really on it a lot of the time. Uh, if we try and roll over to a cowboy now, it's going to be a risk. We might want to wait one more uh, move yeah, from him, but it's probably going to trigger gonna... time. Yeah, there's... where is he going to go that's going to be really in range of being able to, uh, us being able to flirt? It's got to be our conversation if it's going to be somewhere, but he's going all the way over to the other side of the venue. There is going to be overtime. As you mentioned, here it comes. Can Rob shoot for it? It doesn't look like he We're will because we are... Too. 
we have a bit of cover there, so the stop talk is kind of covered. And it's going to be a really hard shot. We're going to have, a, like, two overtime beeps, four overtime beeps. Yeah, not enough time not there enough. for Rob to take the shot. He kind of, with, like, 8.9, especially with, like, two late desyncs and whatnot, you got to have that shot basically already lined up. And Catnip sure. gets away with a bug and a purloin against a very astute sniper. Well played by Catnip. Yeah. 2-2. Two, two. And now we step into Courtyard, one of those older-style venues which makes sense, Catnip, a very long-time veteran player. Uh, probably prefers this kind of more simple, less sharky venue. Okay, we'll let's do it with Irish in three, two, one, playing it. On the wise looking right there. Um, yeah, chat saying why did why did we say walk when we we all like you know I love saying roll. Uh, but in the same way that uh. We don't get that correct. We also call everything a window, despite the fact that no, there are no windows on courtyard. Uh, in fact, there's there are definitely windows no on window pane. The only window pane is when you red test a time ad. I think it's because the tutorial calls it a window pad. I mean, on ballroom they are windows, though, right? Yeah, they are indeed windows on ballroom. Speaking of speed running a tutorial, Oof. should get is back it, into uh, that. It's under four minutes, right? Or is it? It's three under three minutes. minutes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Pop, uh, you probably wrote it hard. But... No, I, I mean, the one thing that isn't happening is any sort of speed run. Rob is completely slowed down here. We don't have any completion, including the flirt. Uh, that conversation's been pretty full, so I don't blame him. Yeah. If you're going to do time hats, courtyard, not that prohibitive. Uh, but. A lot of the time ends oh, we wow. see success on Courtyard are early in the game. This could I'd be like a to point line. out that uh, General just walked like right past the Ambassador as a highlight and is now into statues. I feel like if we contact and make sure General is in, he dies. He yeah, dies. That, you can see that laser just sitting there, just watching for the swap, not even bothering because they already have the angle on the Ambassador. Uh, this contact won't work. He's come into a conversation that does not have a DA. Uh, we do want to do the contact. Um, the problem this with doing this contact, if, contact. If, if we are going for the frame on general, is we'd have to do a second one. Um, I don't think this is necessarily going to work out in the way that like we as casters want it to, to work out. Um, I think Rob is more conscious of someone like Smallman or something. Here we go. Oh, and girl, it's only split three even. reels. General splits, and maybe that might even make us more suspicious of General here. Uh, one of three reels, and we are first to leave. Look at that of zoom. Three reels. Um, ooh, yeah, another banana bread might do it, but uh, yet again, the conversation with all the highlights doesn't have a DA, and Rob doesn't necessarily know that he has such powerful frame plays available, just because it's just really hard to tell. Okay, are we doing, just... we're doing a nasty bug oh, for the, Irish. Uh, sometimes those just go away. I th so part of part of it is that we uh, Irish is, has really good bugs, right? But General was doing a briefcase, doing things that oh job, wow oh, oh okay shot by Catnip um for the late statue visit maybe was on top of the bug perhaps, but it seemed like we were paying attention to General, right? Um yeah, I'm... but it, I mean it's a bug, Ob. Right. You're you're on courtyard. There's the priority list in Courtyard is don't let a bug happen, and then the second most important thing is still don't let a bug happen, and then from there, probably, like, I don't know. Watch yeah, the for point. sure. But, I, I, I agree. Uh, really, even when it's Irish, and even when it's a pretty good bug, honestly, good job, Rob, on getting uh, the execution right, but when you do a banana bread with you're one of only three people, and the laser's sitting there, you're not going to get away with it. Uh, too often, especially against uh, Catnip, very much a, I think, a nastier sniper to play against than her spy. Um, you don't get to have free things too often against Catnip. Um, and when you do, it's usually not because you you did something too clever. It's uh, because of stuff that we saw in Aquarium. So Catnip here in Orange Dress, very powerful character. And we'll get this started in three, two, one, playing it. Um, yeah, I did I, see... I had... Okay. That's a bug. Oh, That's a good bug, Wow, actually. that was a it really, was really nice bounces. Wow, hold on. 
Wait, and die. What? And Rock doesn't care. Rock what? doesn't care. What? Uh, oh, you know what? The angle, the one time we bounced to the uh, to the outside to show the sniper our arm, Rob was the oh, yeah. Rob was it's, it's that thing quite on camera, wasn't it? Yeah, it's it it, it, it is right. unfortunately quite on camera, camera. At any other angle, that bug is absolutely impossible to see, but Rob was at the correct angle for it and takes the shot. Yeah, I mean, if we even if we gotten like if it wasn't a wrong arm there, uh, we had a ton of cover too. Probably would have still been credited for it. Um, uh, I, but I think the bounce after were like also just really nice, just nasty stuff there from Catnip and nasty stuff from Roth to take the shot. Uh, good play, but gets good play. Yeah. Uh, score yeah. is three three. Three three. Got more courtyard to go, and it's gonna be Roth back on spy. We were only here a few seconds ago, even in the real time game. So let's do this in three, two, one, playing it. It's one of those games that. Do you, do you think it helps your game? Like, if you you have a really quick sniper game, do you think it helps your next spy game, or do you think it's... Uh, oh, I, 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 I love having a really quick sniper game. It's like, oh, I just get to win the sniper game and not have to worry about it? Like, bam, I'll take it, you know? See a bug, shoot a bug, right? It's a lot less complex and draining I guess than I guess the more... Uh, intre I, I, kinda, I think that's definitely the answer. The more interesting is if you... Uh, have a really, um, like, long sniper game, do you think it, uh, do you think it hurts your spy? Um, I'm not sure. That, 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 that's, that's hard to say. If you're, like, comparing a normal length game to a long sniper game. Yeah, like someone just you a time, time ad library, uh, I feel like... I feel like there has to be some sort of effect, uh, and my instinct would be that it's a negative effect, but um, I also like time ads, so I'm probably biased. Uh, Rob I think likes doing nothing. Is... We have one flirt, and this conversation is very nice for a banana bread. Even if there just wasn't anybody else in the party, uh, we still would have like six or seven suspects, depending if you want to count the low light. Yeah, for sure. Uh, a couple highlights going into statues now. Catnip will pick those up. And honestly, as much as it's a bit more varied on other venues, everyone highlights for statues on Courtyard. There's no reason not to. It's like the one thing in the that's the strongest in Early. the game it, 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 on the venue. So. Okay, no. So Rob just doing the white test banana bread into drink take. Really, you don't really have any great options in that spot because the. Uh, the drink take often gets stalled by the banana bread and it can be really awkward. Uh, reject is very similar, if not uh, maybe worse. And if you do the BB Purloin uh, and you get the white test on both of them, you can win that. Like You can get away with that, but it's definitely not the, uh, the plan that you had when you came into the courtyard. No problem. We're down to 50 seconds left with nothing done. We get the fingerprintable statue. Oh, it's dead oh. on the spot. That, 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 I mean, this is the catnip thing, right? This is the intuition shot. This is the less than certain kind of thing we're looking at because that very easily could have been an AI getting shot right there, but it is the spy this time around. So, yeah. catnip don't care. Catnip just shoots spies. And I'm not going to criticize anybody who shoots spies. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of voodoo shots that happen um, at all levels, and Catnip's one of the best at it. Uh, we got Salmon here from Catnip up in this game against someone who's had so much success in this division. If they can win this game, they put themselves definitely in the driver's seat, and we'll see if they can do it in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Yeah, Rob's saying in chat, this spooked me so much. And that, I think, is really the d defining thing from Catnip's play, from what I've done in casual, is you're thinking that you're getting away with stuff, because you are sometimes getting away with stuff. She does drop things like bugs and whatnot, but then you just get shot for something that just, the timing does not feel like what you're used to, and that's just scary. Um, I think it's used to be like a big flaw for Catnip, because she would just take shots like, 20 seconds after the mission completed, and like we saw with the smallman shot on Aquarium, that shot 
isn't justifiable in a like a logical banana sense. Bread. Um, oh, this is a fantastic banana bread. bread, by the way. Yeah, what no one out. Third fake. That, that. <laughs> that, that, that can, can, can we like just? Uh, That's not make a fair. Here. This is. That's not fair. This is perfect, and the reason it's perfect is we know the ambassador, we know the seduction target, so we know ours is a fake. We know that the double agent and the SDA have to both be in conversation, just because literally everybody's in conversation. Uh, that fake, you should take a hundred percent of the time, and good job on catnip, uh, being aware of the situation, and it's just making not a. Fair. <laughs> is that a ten? Out, is that a ten out of ten fake, or is that like more than ten out of ten? That that is the kind of fake that wins games. Yeah, and while it doesn't have like that true effect that you'd love to see on something like Modern, a banana bread like that would just absolutely ruin. On Courtyard, uh, they still need to see something else that will make them uh, want to shoot. Uh, but you can also that we didn't take a low light from this is almost surprising. Like. That's a situation where the spy often gets low lit, just because yeah, the so, uh, the sniper is so grumpy about not having anybody else to low light. And it's not a logical low light either, because as you said, you take that fake one hundred percent of the time. There's literally no reason for the spy, if they're in that competition, to not take that fake. So as the sniper, why are you going to reward something the spy is going to do every single time? But you're but like when you are not getting any other information out of that contact, it's so tempting. Oh yeah, it's. And obviously, if they're in those conversations, they're also taking that banana bread basically every single time. Um, so the only reason they wouldn't is they're in the wrong conversation, like if they're in the conversation with the SDA and not the DA. We spent the whole game talking about this, and what's actually happened is Cadnip's just not completing missions. Uh, there's a fair chance for a civilian shot, but we are going to need something that will provoke it, and Ambassador going to statues is not going to be that. Ambassador is going to go somewhere far away from us. If we purloin here, we might just die on the spot, but if we hit the green test, that's not a green test. It's not what we asked for. We're the only one in this chain, too. Queen just took, and I think Rob is on top of that. But we haven't been yeah. to statues. It doesn't even matter. Nope, Rob's not. No. Oh, I see, by the way. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, uh... The, I've been caught red-handed. Let me put that red hand down my throat. And, oh no. <laughs> Uh, no, it's a foot. It's putting your foot in your throat. And your foot in your <laughs> mouth. Jeez, how far yeah. are you sticking your foot? <laughs> no, because sticking your foot in your mouth is a saying. But I tried to combine that with red-handed, and it just doesn't work. This just sounds a bit bulimic and not really uh, what we want to be talking about. Let's move on to our next map. <laughs> Rob. Ooh, on... Good, good pause there, on, uh, on... Who, Who's your favorite death animation, uh, Opie? Oh, um, and why is he queen? <laughs> Honestly, I think it might have to be someone like a general, or like someone who like falls over like really dramatically. I I love the queen Just every like single time. Down. Holds like she's been shot in the heart, and I'm like, queen, I shot you in the purse, I shot you <laughs> in the uh, in the heel, like, and you're still going for the. Oh no, I'm choking. <laughs> um, okay, we got Rob here. Brought it back, it's 4-4, four, four, uh, and we got the single maps to go on Gallery, which is a monster of a map. We'll do this in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Uh, Chad's saying Rocker, and I think they're, uh, they're onto something. Rocker's spin is pretty legitimate. Yeah, for sure. I just like the ones where they just fall face down flat. It's very, it's very <laughs> nice to me. <laughs> Shout out to John Semino. Uh, we, we talk about Checker a lot. He's the uh, developer and programmer for the game. Uh, but John Semino, um, a huge part of this game as the main artist. And we're excited to see what else comes out of it. If it's going to be new maps, new characters, new alt, alt art. Um, just anything that he makes has been fantastic. And uh, there's a lot of reasons to be excited. We've got Rob here in 47% flirt. And that's about it. Uh, these players have been a bit calmer than what we saw out of the Gabriel Portal Freak game. A bit calmer? Did you see this three speedrun spy games we saw? Yeah, I think that's pr probably that's the reason, is they did two speedrun games and then realized, oh, okay, speedrunning's not working, and they've, uh, they've chilled out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's been more timer floating, I think, is really what I'm trying to identify. Okay, what's the plan here, Rob? We've got 78% banana bread. banana bread. This is not terrible. I mean, it's pretty standard gallery? here for, for gallery. 
For Dallery, that's pretty good, I'd say. Oh, I didn't see the two people at the bookcase because I was looking at the spy side. I, maybe Rob didn't realize he was giving away those two bookcase lowlights. Yeah, well, still five low lights on gallery. Maybe four is like the the mark of a, a good gallery BB, but five is not that bad for sure. You can uh, very very frequently you often see like a lot more people than that out. Okay, uh, highlight going back to statues in the form of wheels. Um, we're in a good position to finish missions here too, as long as the seduction target doesn't bail on us. Uh, we can always do things like inspect swap or. Uh, Obviously, if we get a cheeky bug, we'll be good to go. Catnip's just gonna not shoot someone like Wheels and catch the hardtail, and she's pretty good at catching hardtails. She's very like an instinctual camper, I think would be the uh, the way you'd want to define her, which um, I know sounds a bit like opposite, like those don't sound necessarily, um, but she's good at catching tails and she's good at uh, having just really good instincts and. I think that's a really good spot to be in against Rob with a minute 35 on the clock. I need to get something done here. If we're going to finish missions as, as Rob, we have seen a few times where uh, inducing the shot is a valid option, but we are instead going to step into statues here. Fingerprintable, Rob has really been uh, favoring that kind of soft telly game. I think it's a very classic style for them. Yeah, and it's not worked out right. Like, I feel like the games that we've lost as Rob on Spy, we've been going to fingerprintable statues and then uh, getting shot not too long after. Yeah. Uh, but continuing pushing the issue, I think he thinks it's just the best way to play, and I'm not sure he's wrong. Uh, I mean, very strong. So, you mentioned that Catnip is a in, 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 in very instinctual player, right? I think that giving catnip something that is very clearly spy like something that is very clearly timed like a spy something that she can track and that she can see happening and take some time to well, consider that, stick. that is unfortunate that that not sticking is really huge because if we if that is stick we could be going in for this fingerprint to finish off missions but instead it is just going to be our third it's not even going to be that it's going to be a red test fingerprint not enough 25 seconds left in this game i don't see how rob's going to get away with this yeah, I'm concerned about like uh, something stupid happening with like mom or uh, red dress in this back conversation, but it would have to be a flirt shot. Herloin here might cause a shot on someone else, but the green test definitely helps. It is going to be overtime, and we, we do need to pick up the statue. It. Yeah, we get the... it needs to be a green test potentially. The white test is no, going to be very close. Be Ooh, Point just three. We're just barely probably enough. dead to rights. Let's not get too excited. But what's the shot going to be when the list disappears? Yeah, there's been a lot of rejecting, though. Lots and lots of people. So I think that there is a chance that we get away with this purloin. Look at these lights. Catnips not lining up a shot here. This yeah. Been, uh... like, we're, we're, we're spending a lot of time off screen, although we do... We are now... Okay, and here comes oh, the shot. Good yeah, job. Yeah, they're... Good, job. <laughs> Good job from Catnips. Um, my concern there watching uh, that was she was spending her time with Boots not on screen, but she just wanted to keep it zoomed in, and she knew that Boots couldn't get too far away. It's, this isn't like Redwoods, where you can lose track of the uh, the spy if you're not careful. Uh, you just know they're going to be somewhere in the front, front part of the party if you can't already see them. Yeah, now Rob needs to answer back on the sniper in the gallery. We'll see if he can do it in three, two, one. Playing it. Gave you permission to do countdowns. <laughs> I gave myself permission to do countdowns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Catnip, cowboy, love it. Love cowboy. What's uh, what's your favorite purple thing in Spy Party? Purple thing? Uh, I'm gonna go with Queen's hat. You like Queen's hat? Yeah. Not the purse. The purse is too cliche. Because uh, there's like three obvious options, right? It's something to do with cowboys, something to do with queen. Or, or the like ambassador. The ambassador's arrow. Because <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any purple paintings in gallery. Uh, maybe we need to get a purple painting on gallery. Is there like uh, the, uh, the, the painting of cowboy? Do we have a painting Ooh, of cowboy? The painting of cowboy. That's that's good meta. Uh, Rocker's <laughs> hair. Uh, shout out to chat on that one. Good job, sheep. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, Rocker, Rock, Rocker's hair. Yeah. I I did not know that Rocker had a pur purple streak in her hair until like a, like a month ago. Like I've been playing this game for over two years. <laughs> not pathetic at all. Um, we got a microfilm away. Uh, we're 
choosing the hard way of playing gallery and the nice thing for catnip is we do have the good microfilm like you want to get the green one first because the uh the blue one wait we had the green one no the blue one's the hard one so we had the hard microfilm to go left uh the green one's a bit easier usually just because you can get a bit more cover uh inspect and eating the highlights gonna make the microfilm hard too this is not the traditional way to play gallery yeah, inspects on gallery are a lot lower value than they are on other venues just because of how few AIs will complete them and the fact that you have to go to for first of all two sets of statues and there's only two distinct sets of them so you have to go to the both right to complete inspects so the odds of an AI completing a inspects are just so much lower on gallery than on any other venue so completing them sticks out in the snipers of mind that much more and snipers already tend to put a lot of uh value on if someone's on inspects or not because it's just that one free mission essentially that path by the way is not how that path works uh, if you're trying to get to that spot you would go the other way around the statues uh, here comes the real moment of truth at least the first one of the this game can we get away with the microfilm i don't think we can afford to take this book away and do it somewhere else just because we have time catnip I disagrees with me and if we get something like a bug um and put the microfilm in somewhere else like good for us but we're relying a lot on cast i feel like and so yeah, we, need bail. we need to go for the da yeah. here good, yeah. good decision there from catnip they did not bail they're gonna make me look wow. like an absolute fool but they and did move they they did move. This is going to be hard for uh, Ken not to life. get shot, honestly. That is uh, a lot of uh, Oh, come on, Zerxion. Come on, get in here, babe. Babe, come back. Babe. Babe. <laughs> babe. Okay. Uh, Cat Nam's not going to do the, this microphone outside. Like, when, yeah. you, when you take a book out that far and you're doing. Oh, oh, Queen getting safety offed on. Not quite a shot, though. When you take the book out that far, I feel like you, you wanted to be doing it outside. The odds that they're zoomed in, especially when the ambassador's inside, just seem super high. Here comes the microphone. It's going to be a ignore. Ignore. It's so on screen, and the shot comes yeah. off. Yeah, I mean, ignores usually happen because the action test is, like, super early in the uh, in the bar, and you're just not ready for it. Um, and definitely not because of a choice. Uh, you definitely want to be aiming for greens in this sort of situation. Um, I think we're in agreement. I think a microfilm here, if you're going to take it away, it would make sense to do it outside. Probably is the best place, but there isn't like... If you're going to take it away, do it away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't do it at the bookcase like this. Um, you're really um, putting a lot of trust that the sniper won't see you, and I don't know what about Rob's sniper has given that impression. Yeah, now we're on to 5-5 five, five on Modern. This, I believe... Uh, is Catnip's pick. We, we, we've seen this before, haven't we? Uh, it was 6-4, I guess, last time. Uh, <laughs> but this looks pretty familiar. Modern for uh, for the ending. And, yeah, Rav, Rav is deciding to, to go with blending in the the, the, uh, the camouflage. <laughs> with, Dude, with Salmon Sam on Modern is like... Genuinely, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to regret saying it, is the worst matchup for me. Dude, just blend <laughs> in. Like, nothing other... And I don't really like to think of him as like a high suspect character, so he gets away with it too. Um, let's do this in three, two, one, plan it. Right. Rav starting us off here needs to, uh, to, to at least complete an undefeated season. We're going to be looking for at least one win out of the next two. But even before this, only has one draw the entire season. And that was their first match, right? So I think improving over the course of the season, not letting anyone take it, not even, you know, Lev Trots Trotsky or any of the other really strong iron players, I believe Rhythmic, Sh Rhythmic Sheep as a potential one. Um, it's just not ha been happening for Rob. So yeah, and getting a tie here, that'd be huge for Catman. Looking at the rest of their schedule, this is really the uh, the big game. Uh, they have Koopa on their schedule and Vak, who both dropped out, unfortunately. So it's really either this or Yidipijum. Yidipijum has been uh, competitive, too. I think they've had a pretty similar amount of success to Catnip. So Rob is going to have to go through that stressor, too, if he can survive this game. And he's got a good start with 79% in pocket and three minutes to go. This is more or less where you expect to be on Rodair. 
Yeah, it's, it, the, the pacing on the flirt at least is alright, and if you can get that early flirt done and you don't have to worry about that pacing anymore for the rest of the game, that can be very powerful, and here it comes, that doesn't even need to be a green test, but it is a green test. Um, so that seduce is done, we have our pacing freed up, we can figure out where to find our hard tells, or if, I, if Rob is con going to continue doing, you know, the same thing they've been doing all set, our soft tails. Look at those twins, by the way. Doing a dance. <laughs> I like Rob's decision to stand here, by the way. Uh, we get to stay with the double agent, and there was always a potential the ambassador would give us the reverse drive-by. And now we're just waiting for a good banana bread. I think even with just two conversations one of them, pulled, this is bread. not a terrible banana bread. Um, we don't have the luck of having the SDA in that front conversation. That is um, actually so something really like a highlight of all of our conversation would make sense. Is this another fingerprintable statue? I feel like this I is think it might another be. fingerprintable I think it might statue. Be. It is. It is another finger fingerprintable statue. Rob is unshakable. I've been shot for this multiple times over multiple venues. Rob still goes back to the cookie jar. I do love cookies. Wait. Did we not get the highlight for going to that statue? I mean, maybe it's a. Uh, maybe we're doing bar highlights. Excuse me. Wait, and is this another fingerprintable statue? Is this fingerprintable statue to fake? It is! This is just a really quick soft tail finish. Can Catnip shoot for this? The timing is unorthodox. It's before a minute's left. 1 minute 20 on the clock, 5 seconds left on the countdown. I don't think Catnip's onto this, and Rob is gonna secure at least a draw. Yeah, Rob's decided to really just commit to these fingerprintable statues, and when push comes to shove, this is their last spy game, and it's paid off, yeah. and I mean, well played by him. It's a powerful strategy. Doing think... it every single game <laughs> makes me makes me question it at some point, but uh, not at this point. Well played by Robin. The double fingerprintable statue. Uh, maybe back to back's a bit like aggressive, but it's powerful. There's definitely yeah, I, no doubt in that. I think the fact that we weren't down to like 50 seconds left or something like that made it a lot easier to get away with that because like catnip that instinctual sniper like sees the timing of the of, of a, like the late statue visits and honestly seems to be really really important to catnip uh, on the timing of that uh, in, in terms of when she will shoot and rob there a minute and 30 left on the clock and two two fingerprint fingerprintable statues in a row that's really strong just in general yeah, let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be Catnip trying to just recover this set. It's been a long one, and now they need to win on Modern, which is definitely possible. It's been incredibly well fought by both players. should definitely note it. Uh, but let's do this here in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Or, hear me, okay, I was, I was excited that we are going to get AI control there for a bit, but no, that's a portal break game. Again. We don't need Not that again. in another game 12. Portal Freak, uh, by the way, congratulations on uh, going to Japan. I know it's not a great time for a trip to Japan. Uh, you're probably not going to make it out of the airport, but uh, good stuff. Uh, Catnip, what's the plan here? It looks like going to the Innocent Conversation is the plan. I uh, guess it's uh, got some power compared to like eating a highlight for going to statues. Bar hasn't been particularly busy. This party's just not giving much for Catnip to work with at the moment. Yeah. Push it anyways. The general's way out there, so there's nothing to do. We are going to go for this delegate option. The ambassador steps in next to us, so perhaps we can go for a bug on the way out, except it would, ha it would have to be a wrong arm bug, because we are taking We're just taking. We're just furloughing. Who, who do we think we're framing right now? I have no clue. We're going for a real slow uh, on the walk away, just trying to be as inconspicuous yeah, as possible. Rob's evaluating the options here, narrowing down the party, and it looks pretty bad for us right now. There's a lot of low lights. We've only got the purloin done, and we seem to be, you know, one of the top suspects for it. Yeah, when you see a purloin this early, um, oh, oh, just... hold on. We see a bunch of a uh, bunch of lighting coming right back up in the end of red. So maybe not on top of this as we thought from Rav. And um, this uh, looks like gonna... a frame, honestly. Unless we think it's like salmon or maybe like pearls. Um, the large conversation that had the most people uh, did not have a DA. 
Uh, we get the flash off on Katnevrov. Um, thinks it's just an immediate take, and I think justifiably, we saw it on Aquarium too. That path choice is questionable. I do not love that. Just going straight into the conversation, not doing any sort of, uh, of cleverness at all. And Rob doesn't like it either. Rob is still on. We're still trying to finish, which is very concerning, because I don't think we're going to survive. Maybe even just this flirt talk. Rob has such a good count that he doesn't want to shoot. Um, yeah. Who else when you're in the party though? this early in the game, it's really easy to have a strong count on the remaining suspects. Because there's not been time where they're not suspects, right? How long did Catnip has as, as a non-suspect, right? A minute? Maybe? Yeah, but before... if you got the chaos book, or maybe like a crazy microfilm. Uh, but then the game would already be over based on your count, and it's not over, so we can be confident. Yeah. Just uh... going through the statues in Master Rob. But that's going to be 7-5. Rob continuing their win streak, but Catnip really making it stressful. Playing well, um, I'm probably going to just be regretting like the shot on Small and Aquarium. Like, just, uh... Playing well in most games and then just dropping one game really is going to be the difference when both players are playing. Uh, just good spy party. Yeah, and that's it. Rav manages to keep the undefeated season alive, including the only the single draw. Still only one of those. Catnap not able to bloody Rav's nose, and Rav is just looking strong going to the end of the season. Yeah, and let's just talk about the postseason a bit. Uh, we'll get closer and closer to it, but we're kind of in that spot. With the tournament of placement um, and with Challenger position. existing as a division, it's going to be about five people from each division who make it through um, to just be able to play in the uh, postseason. Um, Rav, already, before this match, was already um, going to be there, but is now going to be one of those like one seeds. and. Lev, Lev Rob... could still take first. Uh, looking at this. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, Lev think Rob's... The... I, th I think I think I think Lev is the only one that's even close, though. Uh, Yudabajim is the next highest with ten points on the scoreboard, but Rob and Lev are both absolutely ahead of everyone else with seventeen and fifteen points, respectively. Yeah, I think Rob, like compared to their station, is probably the scariest player. Um, obviously, we do have players like Lagorv and Monders who are in a slightly higher division, but I think Rob is like at that level and just the player you don't want to see uh, if you're looking at your bracket and looking at your schedule and going, oh, I get to play Rob in the first round of the playoffs. Nice.